when you received the script, I understand that you were the dream casting for, for the writer-director of this. What was your immediate reaction? What drew you to it? Well, I, I thought... I thought it was very funny. I, I mean, my manager called me and said, hey, they're making a movie of this hit play, it's Utopia, and my man, he'd seen the play and thought it was hilarious because you have to be in it. This thing's hilarious. So I read it, and then I met with Brian, and I just said, you know, I think it's really funny, but I, I go, as long as, you know, I get to play it real as opposed to like a, you know, a stereotype of a of a Jewish person that you'd see in a movie and a, just play it the way they really are. And he said, yeah, sure, so... So I did it, and I had a, I had a lot of fun. He was great, and the cast was great, and you know, very talented. And it was it was fun. Well, that, that's what's so special about it too. I mean, the you you can easily deal with stereotypes when you do a movie like this um, about kind of culture clashes and that sort of thing. But the movie, and I think a lot of its humor comes from this, is it speaks to kind of universal truths and i'm wondering what those truths were that you saw in the writing well as far as jewish people just you know making a mountain out of a molehill you know or just the way they they love each other but drive each other nuts mm -hmm. that part have you seen this uh with an audience yet i saw it at the um, malibu film festival and, and they were really laughing yeah and really That's... liked it that's got to be satisfying. I mean, you're. I mean, obviously, so much of what you do depends upon that audience reaction. Uh, are, are you are you good at watching yourself on screen? Is it something you enjoy? I do, and I don't. I mean, I you know, I look at myself and think I look fat or something, and I go, Ugh. but uh, you know, at the same time, if I do something funny or if I, you know, usually I look, I really look more to see how my acting is, and if I'm. I mean, I know what I was trying to do in the scene and, and, and to see if it came across. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, sometimes you see yourself uh, doing things that you didn't even realize you were doing. But I usually, I, I like to see it because, you know, I want to see what I did and, uh, and if it worked. Yeah. Well, obviously, when you do, uh, when you perform in sketch comedy, I mean, that's that's one mode of acting. Stand-up is another form of performing. And then film, I mean, the, a film camera picks up the tiniest kind of details. Is it, is right. it a challenge it to kind everything. of... Yeah, is it a challenge to modulate, to kind of calibrate how, how, how the volume of your performance, in a way? Well, I think film acting is... is it's, it's very difficult because it's very... It's, it's, um, it's very de deceptive, you know, because you think it's so simple, but everything you do, as you said, the, the camera picks up. You hit the nail on the head, so it it picks up everything true and it picks up everything false. Mm -hmm. And the other part of it is whatever you do, uh, when the camera's on you, the audience is reading into it, thinking it mm. mean, it means something, you know. So it's kind of the art of, you know, doing these, you know, the Montgomery Cliff said it, it's like you do these five or six little things, and they're very small, but they all add up to the whole character. And it, it, it's it's tricky. Yeah. You know, it, it's such a fascinating kind of art form to me. Well, you have to be acting. totally entertaining, and at the same time look like you're just, not trying to be entertaining. You're just the guy, and you're it's effortless. Exactly. Yeah. If, if you make an effort, the camera picks that up and picks and picks up everything. It takes a long time to be get good at it, and you can always get better because you just you know it's a lot of practice. It really reminds me of something that uh, I remember Dennis Hopper years ago told the story that he was directing Robert Duvall in a scene. And he said to Duvall, no, I need you to be bigger. I mean, I need you to actually do something. And Duvall said, it, it's there. If you look in the, if you look at the playback, you'll see it. And, it. and he was right. I mean, it captured the tidiest little moment. And you've worked with such uh, extremely talented people uh, in this movie and in others. What has been the major lesson you've, you've learned from watching some of your collaborators' work? I don't know. Years ago, I asked Tom Hanks. I said, "What, 
you know, do you have any advice on film acting? And he said, well, just, you know, you kind of make your motions towards the camera as opposed to, you know, side to side because of the frame. But also he said, you know, the microphone's right next to you so you can, you know, you can be as small as you want. And, um... Mm. But I would read stuff over the years, like Alan Bates said, movies photographed thought, which is, I think, what Robert Duvall is talking about. You know, if you, you know, it, it picks up on your eyes. So if you think it, it'll, it'll, it'll read it. Um, but uh, you know, I worked with Sam Jackson in a movie, and every take and every rehearsal, he went all out. So I learned that from him, just to really go for it every time, because you just never know. Yeah. And um just just being I guess, you know, focused or I wrote Jim Belushi in a movie and he said, you know, you gotta conserve your energy, it's a long day. You know, people say different things like that or Louise Fletcher, I did a movie with her and she said, you know really she said, Really believe what you're saying and that makes mm-hmm. a giant difference. Mhm. So I I remember all that stuff because I was just always trying to get better. I'm sure there's like it's when you say something like believe everything you're saying. I mean, I, I'm sure it's the same with stand up, which I know you've been doing uh, a lot of lately as well. There has to be a, a, a conviction and a belief in what you're saying there too. Yeah, I mean, if you're just kind of saying the saying the lines without thinking about it, it's just kind of empty. But if you if you're if you have passion about it, what you're saying, or you you have to care about what you're saying. Yeah. With that, my uh, acting teacher Tony Barr, but for the camera, and he said, you know, you, they, you know, people say you need more energy, and he goes, well, what does that even mean? You know, because you have energy when you care about something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I have to tell you, one of one of your lines that you've spoken in your career, I I say it at least once a week. When, whenever, whatever situation comes up that that calls for common sense, I will always bring out. See how it works: is the train moves, not the station. I think that's one of oh. the, the the funniest lines I've ever heard. I just wanted to tell you that as an aside. But, oh, thank uh, you. We were talking about stand-up comedy. Uh, you have your own club, don't you? Yeah, John Lovett's Comedy Club and Podcast Theater at Universal City Walk and. We do, you know, stand-up shows, and uh, I have a, uh, we do podcasts, and I think John Lovett's Vodcast Network, and I interview, you know, I interview people on stage, like um, just to Gene Simmons and Gary Busey and Dana Carvey, and we have music acts, and yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, you can go online and see that. Um, and the last question for you uh, concerning Jutopia um, is is about improvisation. I was listening to Tom Arnold talk about sitting together with you and other cast members and kind of riffing and seeing where you could take particular scenes. Was there a lot of freedom to do that, I imagine, on this particular shoot? Yeah, Brian was open to it. I mean, I mean, the script is really funny. So, <clears throat> you know, off of that, if I thought of a joke, you know, I'd ask him if it's if it okay if I'd say it. And, and he always said yes. I didn't do it a lot. There's a, f- a few times here and there. Yeah. Well, I I love the movie. I love your performance in it, and I I really I always enjoy watching you and what you do. And, and thank you so much for well, I appreciate talking that. to me. Thanks about so much. It.